the bank if they're going to see out the rest of this race and lead it. We can see now the UCL is striking 34 strokes a minute, which is a slightly higher rate of striking, in fact, than the Reading University boat, who are at 32. So that's a clear reaction in the UCL boat, who have reacted to that pressure from Reading University. So this is good to see. A good, clean final here, and they're both pushing each other. So we could see some solid competition all the way through the rest of this. So if you support either UCL or Reading University, get yourselves down to the water side and make sure you cheer on these crews because they are absolutely going for it here. And it's going to be a whole competition all the way to the line. Nothing to choose between these crews, really, as we come up past the main enclosure area, and it looks as though Reading University are starting to creep up on UCL. So some impressive stuff here from Reading University who are starting to close in that lead that UCL developed in the early stages. It's only a third of a length in it now, so it was half a length a couple of hundred meters ago. So Reading University very much back in this race. You can see the coxswain for UCL screaming for his girls to give him more here. His mum's in the boat and she's absolutely excited for this race but they have reacted again. So UCL have reacted to that pressure from Reading University and are starting to increase their lead again. They're back to half a length. So it's really, really nip and tuck between these crews, swapping the lead. And Reading University are going to have to pull something out of the bag as we come up towards Upper Thames Rowing Club. 200 metres to Upper Thames Rowing Club and these crews are going to be starting to think about winding up for their finish. And that's, when, that's what's going to separate the winner from the loser here today because Reading University are certainly still in this race. There's less than half a length in it now. They've started to pick it up. There it is. There's the change in the rhythm in the Reading boat and they're drawing level. So it looks like Reading may well row through the UCL boat in the closing stages here because they've upped their rating. They've increased their rhythm. They're up at 36 now. So they're well into their finishing burn. And just as I say, there goes UCL. So they've dropped the hammer as well and they've wound up for the finish. We're just coming up past Upper Thames now and UCL have increased their rating. They're at 38. They are absolutely leathering it. Absolutely leathering it. So this is one hell of a fa final here at Henley Women's Regatta 2014. Both boats absolutely neck and neck as we come into the last 200 metres. It's going to be really tough to choose a winner here because they are dead level. Both crews up at 36 strokes a minute and it's going to come down to the wire. One hell of a race here. This is racing here at Henley Women's Regatta 2014. It looks like Reading might be just getting their nose ahead. They've been trailing all the way down the course. It's going to come down to the wire. One hell of a final here because Reading University and University College London are absolutely neck and neck going across the line. This is going to be a photo finish, ladies and gentlemen, because that was an absolutely dead level. From my perspective, it looked like one hell of a finish there. So we're going to have to wait for the official verdict from the umpires to confirm who has won that final for the Intermediate Academic Eight for the PWC Cup, kindly sponsored by PWC.